yeah, it's it's nice to live in an area where there are other artists and, and there's been different people that I've worked with through the years. Um, Dave Nearing has painted up in northern BC for a long time and he's a good friend and we talk painting lots and hang out lots. Um, more recently, Mark Thibault and I get together to paint and Michelle Gaisley and I and Sarah Northcott sometimes. So um, I really enjoy that the chance to kind of actually paint with other people sometimes, it, it means a lot to me. Um, not specifically, I would imagine that it does affect me though, like I, I'm looking at what they're doing and they're looking at what I'm doing and, and probably that sort of in the back of your brain kind of does change some things. So I expect it probably does make some difference. but. Yeah, and certainly, like, I ask for critiques from all, all of the people I mentioned, like, just thoughts about color usage or composition, yeah. I hope to bring uh, joy in, into the world. I hope to, like, that the viewer finds my expression of the landscape, maybe one that resonates with them and, and one that brings them some joy. And, yeah, especially, especially these days. I think it did initially. Um, I wasn't sort of, uh, not in front of my brain kind of way, I, but uh, for a few weeks as the lockdown kind of took place, I found it hard to paint. I found it a struggle, um, just almost technically, like sort of struggled more than I usually do. and. Uh, I can only surmise that that was sort of that kind of generalized anxiety in the world kind of swirling in the back of my brain. But, uh, you know, we, we uh, adjust and it's all good now. Yeah. And, and I've had more time to probably paint than some time, more time in the studio. Well, that's huge. Uh, the Balkley Valley is this beautiful place that that uh, uh, is full of inspiration, a lot of variety, and there's sort of you know rolling hills, but there's also mountains and wilderness and rivers, and so there's just tons of inspiration for someone who deals with the landscape and their work. Um, another thing would be the the Smithers Art Gallery has been super important to my development. Actually, like I I think that I wouldn't have the career that I have in art without it. it it's uh, way back in, I think my first show was 2001 or something like that. Um, yeah, people have been very supportive of my work. Uh, the community uh, in the Balkley Valley is very supportive of the arts and, and has been supportive for me as well. 